welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be reviewing the Pretty Fresh line from ColourPop that just released. I'm super excited about that one. I do have some thoughts and opinions, so if you're interested in hearing them, just keep on watching. Okay, let's just go ahead and get started. I'm really excited about this launch. This is the Pretty Fresh line from ColourPop. They recently came out with three brand new items that are geared toward dry skin. So I'm really, really excited because all of their other face stuff like foundation and setting spray have been geared more toward matte skin. And I don't like my makeup to look matte. I really prefer hydration and dewy products. So I was super thrilled when they came out with a new line. And this packaging, first off, is gorgeous. I love the packaging, I love the soft touch, I love the color, I just think it's right up my alley and it's super cute, it's super affordable. Wait till I tell you the prices of these. But you can go check it out on ColourPop. They did come out with a sponge, I did not pick up the sponge, just because I feel like I have a beauty blender and I have another affordable drugstore sponge that I don't really care to try the sponge from ColourPop. If I hear it's great, maybe I'll pick it up later down the line, but that's not what I was really, really interested in. I was more interested in these products alone. So we're gonna go ahead and just start applying them on the face because I can't wait. I just wanna go ahead and play with it on camera and let you know how I feel. And this is gonna be kind of like a first impression. Let's just go ahead and start off with the primer. This is the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. This retails for $12. I feel like it's a pretty fair size amount. You do receive one fluid ounce in here, and this is formulated with hyaluronic acid and coconut water. I think the theme is with all of these products, they all have coconut water and hyaluronic acid, which if you don't know, hyaluronic acid is really, really great for holding hydration and retracting moisture from the air into your skin. So it kind of helps your skin look more plump, more youthful, more glowy. So I really, really enjoy that ingredient. I've been using that ingredient in my nighttime and morning care routine for a while now, so I'm really excited to have that ingredient in these products. Now the coconut water, that's something that I'm not super excited about. I don't really care for coconut scents or coconut ingredients. I don't like coconut oil. Um, and I know a lot of people are sensitive to coconut in their skincare products. So we'll test it out today and see if it irritates my skin. So I just wanna go ahead and just start applying things because I'm excited. Okay, so I went ahead and zoomed you in. I'm just gonna go ahead and take a pump of this into the palm of my hand. Let's see the texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and just begin priming my face like I normally would. I think I grabbed way too much, so I'm just kinda dabbing my finger in and spreading it across my face. I'm really excited about this primer. I love a really dewy primer. I know it's not everyone's jam, but I really enjoy it. Like I said, I have dry skin and I need something that's going to keep my skin moisturized throughout the day. Or else a lot of times my skin will actually dry out throughout the day and will feel really, really tight in this area. So I'm really excited to see how this works throughout the day. I am gonna film this kind of vlog style and do check-ins throughout the day to let you know how it's looking. But based on first impressions, the smell is really strong. I don't really care for the smell. So that's already kind of one negative already. I'm just gonna take the rest and kind of put it down my neck. It's because I did grab way too much. Feels really hydrating. It's sinking into the skin really quickly. It does have like a slight tacky feeling, but you can already see in the camera how kind of glowy my skin looks. I'm gonna be looking like a glazed donut by the end of this video, and I'm not mad about it. So the next thing that they came out with is a hyaluronic acid tinted moisturizer. I received mine in the shade medium 10N, but there are 24 ranges of shades, which is not bad. And I'm really excited to just try this as well. I really enjoy a light tinted moisturizer, especially for the days where I don't have a lot of time in the morning to do my makeup. I'm trying to just scramble and get out the door, but I don't wanna look extremely pale. I want a little bit of coverage on my face. So I'm really interested to see how this wears, how thick the coverage is. Is it really sheer? Is it buildable? So that's what we're gonna go ahead and test right now. This does have a pump, which I'm not super crazy about. I prefer a squeezy tube because I just feel like it's easier, but nevertheless, let's just go ahead and give it a try. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take a little pump. I'm gonna go in with a little brush at first and just kind of dab it on my skin and pat it in. I think I matched my shade pretty well. Ok, 
Okay, so this is my skin with one layer. I tried to get one solid pump to come out, but there was a little bit of air in here, so I did have to do a couple pumps, but I don't think I got more than one pump, so if that makes any sense at all. But I, so far, really like it. I feel like my skin looks really, really hydrated, really plump. I do feel like the hyaluronic acid is making my face look real plump and real juicy, and, uh, I just really enjoy it so far. It does have a slight tacky feeling. I'm not sure if that will settle down. That doesn't bother me because I don't tend to touch my face too much during the day or at least I try not to, but, but this is how my skin looks. I feel like my skin looks like skin, which I personally really enjoy. I don't like when my face looks too cakey. I don't think I'm gonna put too much more on just because I feel like that was a perfect amount for my skin. I feel like my pores look really soft. I don't know if that was the primer or if I'm just having a good skin day. It's kind of hard to tell on the first use, so I am gonna see how this works throughout the day. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back to go ahead and use the setting spray. Okay, so this is the finished look. I feel really peachy, really gorgeous, really beautiful, really actually summery, totally contradicting fall, but that's okay because I am a summer girl and I'm not ready for it to be over. And I wanna go ahead and set my face now because I've been done too. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. This does retail for $12 as well and I feel like you get a pretty good amount. It's a little bit more expensive than drugstore setting sprays if you ask me but I feel like the settings at the drugstore are really small and I feel like this is a really considerably big bottle. I don't know that's just my opinion. So we're just gonna go ahead and take the bottle and spritz the face to lock all my makeup in and the moment that we've all been waiting for. Wow, that's a really, really fine mist. And it does smell like all of the other products. It smells really coconutty. I'm gonna go ahead and dry my face. I cannot, for the life of me, find my little other fan that I use typically, the blue one. I don't know where it is in my house. It's lost. I have no idea where it went. And I have looked my house everywhere and I could not find it. So I've resorted to my really pretty little fan that I got from a Chinese wedding that I went to. Isn't it gorgeous? So I am gonna bring y'all along with me throughout the rest of the day. It is kind of late. It's already, I think, 4.30, which is very late because I'm not gonna be able to wear this as long as I would like. But I am gonna do small check-ins throughout the day to let you know kind of how it's looking, what the situation is, is it breaking up, is it looking too oily? I did use everything that they released. I used the primer, the setting spray, and the tinted moisturizer. But I wanna go ahead and give you my first impressions so far and what I think it looks like right now. First off, I think it looks beautiful. I love a very, very sheer look. I've gravitated more toward a sheer look, especially since it's been summer and it's been so hot where I live, so I really enjoy it. I don't like the look of a cakey face anymore. I used to wear a little bit more makeup and now I just feel like everything looks so much more seamless when I have less on. And that's just the approach that I've been taking so far. So, so far, I really like it. I really like the way it looks. I like how you can still kind of see my skin peeking through. I did use a cream bronzer and a cream highlight, but I did use a powder blush. And I don't feel like I had any problem at all. I don't think it skipped over or anything. I did think it did feel a little bit tacky while I was applying makeup and it still does feel a little bit tacky right now. Again, that doesn't bother me because I do my best not to touch my face throughout the day and not for makeup reasons either. I do try to not touch my face even when I don't have makeup on just because there's a lot of germs on your hands and you don't know what you're touching throughout the day. So I just do my best not to touch my face other than when I'm doing my skincare. So that's just been a habit of mine. Those are my first impressions. I feel like my skin looks really good. I feel like it looks really plump, really hydrated, really youthful, really flawless and seamless. So, so far, I really enjoy this. The only thing that I would like if this had would be an SPF. If this had an SPF, it'd be my favorite because I wouldn't have to layer an SPF under or even if the primer had an SPF, I feel like that would be a really awesome combo, but so far they don't. 
But those are my first opinions. Like I said, I'm gonna continue to check in throughout the day. I think I'm gonna try to do like a two hour check in, so at 6.30, and then I'm gonna do another one probably around 10, only because I'm going to see a movie, so I won't have a lot of time to check in in between 6.30 and after the movie. So I will come back on to let you know my final thoughts, but so far I'm really, really enjoying it. FYI, I don't think if you have oily skin, you may not enjoy this unless you do set it. Now, I don't know how that would look because I didn't set it today, but I will continue to play around with it. I'm gonna wear this to work on Monday and uh, see why I like it set with powder. So be looking out for that. Hey guys, so it's around 6.30. It's been about two hours-ish since I've had the foundation on, the moisturizer on, and I do see my skin looking a little glowier than usual, but again, I'm okay with that. I like it. It is getting a little greasier on my nose, but I think it looks good. I mean, all I gotta do is just powder this or take a little blotting sheet and blot it, but I feel like I look really dewy, really glowy, really healthy. It's a little bit over two hours because I put on the uh, moisturizer and then I went and did the rest of my makeup. So, like, two and a half hours maybe I think looks good hey guys it is currently 10 06 I've had this moisturizer on for a while now I think I applied it around four I really like it it looks really nice it doesn't look cakey at all and it's not super oily either I know this is bad lighting so it's kind of hard to tell but I've really been enjoying it. It hasn't like wore off really crazy like around my mouth or anything. Like it doesn't look noticeable is what I'm trying to say. I feel like it looks really nice. It wore off evenly and I just feel like my face looks smooth and it's not too greasy like I thought it would be. I don't know, like you can still see my highlight. I just have really been enjoying it. I mean, I feel like this is gonna be a really holy grail staple product that I really continue to enjoy. I don't know, I, I really like it. I went to the movies and it stayed on. It looks pretty good. I'm trying to see myself in the mirror and I'm trying to show y'all like how good my skin looks. I just feel like it looks really good and hydrated and doesn't look greasy. I was really expecting this to look really greasy by the end of the night and it just doesn't. So yeah, ColourPop did a great job. I highly recommend picking one of these up and it's pretty affordable. So if anything, you could just use it as a moisturizer on those days that you just need to go run errands. And yeah, th I mean, that's my final thoughts. I think I'm gonna go ahead and check out. Let me know down in the comments below if you do end up checking out this full coverage moisturizer and let me know if you enjoy it as much as I did because I really, really think my skin looks flawless today. I don't know if it's the primer or the setting spray or everything put together, but I feel like it looks really good, non-cakey, and it doesn't feel super tacky. It just kind of feels moisturized. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video because I think I'm just rambling at this point. But if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up so I know that you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're notified every time I post. Until next time, guys. Bye. I don't have a lip on, and that looks weird. Where's my peachy gloss? Oh my god, that gloss. I'm ready. I'm ready for whatever life throws at me now. All right.